Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you a special screencast. Attention business owners. If you sell products, pay attention because this screencast is for you. It's June. It's almost the end of the month, which means it's time to look at your inventory. It's time to take inventory, especially if you haven't done it yet this year. Typically, you want to take inventory at least twice a year, in June and in December. Now, some of the issues with this are that it's disruptive. It, it disrupts your business. You might have to close the doors to your business for a day. You, if you leave the business open while you're taking inventory because it's just not practical to close the doors, then there's even more steps that have to be taken in terms of tracking inventory that comes in during the process and inventory that goes out the door during the process. So it's very important that you do some planning ahead of time. And there are some reports in QuickBooks that are really going to help you with this. Let's take a look at some of those. If I run the reports here, and let me just get rid of my wonderful Sony VAIO menu there. If I run the reports and I go to inventory, and I run my inventory stock status by item, this is going to give me some very useful information. Right away, looking at the available quantities column, that's sort of what my eyes are normally drawn to, I see some negative quantities, which further reinforces that it's going to be really important to take inventory. But I encourage you to take the time to run this report and look at the information it's telling you. It's telling you what's on hand. You also get an idea of whether or not you're taking the time to put in good information because it's just the old saying, garbage in, garbage out. But on the other side of that, the better information I put in, the more thorough I am, the better information I can get out of it. That's sort of the positive take on that same theme. So look here, they've got their next delivery dates in here. They've got reorder points in here. All of this is information that can be put in. You can put this in to any item. And, and the space is there. It's just a matter of taking the time to do it. And sometimes people, I think, rush and think, I don't have the time and I don't care. But trust me when I tell you that when you're able to run these kind of reports and get this kind of information, you're going to start to care if you don't already. So take the time to run this report. Let's look at another one. Let's go to Inventory Valuation Summary. This report gives me some great insights into what I've got on hand and what potentially I could realize from it. And one thing I want to do very quickly is run this into Excel because I'm going to show you how to write two or three very easy formulas. You don't have to be an Excel whiz to understand how to do this. It's very simple. That will give you some great information on this. Just looking at the grand totals here. I want to be able to see, on average, what's my markup. And I want to see, on average, what's my gross profit and my gross profit percentage. So I'm going to hit an equal sign here. And then my markup is going to be a function of the retail value divided by the asset value, formatted as a percentage. 232.28% is my markup, my retail markup. Now let's look at the gross profit. Again, equals. I point at my retail value. This time I'm subtracting my asset value. This is my potential gross profit if I liquidate all my inventory. Now let's take a look at that as a percentage. And you simply say equals, take that gross profit, divide that by the retail value. And that's my gross profit percentage, 57%. Really important, good information to have in terms of the potential if I liquidate. If I run the balance sheet, I'm going to see historically what that information looks like. And it's important while we're talking about it to run the balance sheet because the balance sheet looking at the inventory values here is going to give us an indication it, this is the this is the big picture view of what we're looking at the details for inside of here and if I run my balance sheet and then I come in here and let's run the profit and loss standard and we'll run it for this fiscal year to date I want to add in a few things here let's modify the report and I want to add in percent of income and click OK because now I can see my gross profit percentage here is only 40%. But according to what I just calculated, potentially, it could end up being much higher than that. Again, these are pieces of information that we're going to extract from here so that we can take a deeper look and see what we want to take a deeper look at. So I don't have time to do it in the screencast, but given the information I've just exposed here, what I would be inclined to want to do is see where's the difference? Why historically have I only shown a 40% gross profit when this tells me I should be showing a 57% gross profit? These are the kind of analyses that you want to do on your books. And again, it reinforces how important it is to take the inventory and make sure those quantities and the values are accurate because 
when you do that, this information becomes that much more meaningful because you're doing this analysis based on accurate and reliable information, and that's so important. As always, if you have any questions, I'm very available on the web, Seth at NerdEnterprises.com. And if you need additional help with this, I've got other uh, videos on inventory, and you can download my inventory uh, adju uh, adjustment worksheet, which I'll give you the link to wherever this video is posted. And there's a video going over how to use that, which will help you with this process. It'll make the process go a lot more smoothly for you when you're updating your inventory in another week or two at the end of the month of June and again at the end of December. 866-945-8070, Seth at NerdEnterprises.com, www.NerdEnterprises.com. And don't forget to check out my new QuickBooks support website called QuickBooksAnswers.info. You pay a simple monthly fee and you can ask all the questions you want and you'll get video responses to your questions just like this one. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web.